The question, can psilocybin help fibromyalgia? After trying psilocybin just one time, many of the volunteers in that 2006 study reported having profound spiritual and mystical experiences that made them more open and honest, less judgmental, and closer to family and friends, and some rated it as the most personally meaningful experience of their lives. Video how to reverse fibromyalgia now but about one-third of those volunteers also experienced transient periods of overwhelming fear and anxiety they felt afraid that they were trapped for example or that they were going to go insane most of the time those feelings passed during the session but in a few cases they went on for hours in the new study griffiths and his team found that when the dose of psilocybin was reduced slightly most people still had the transformative mystical experience with far less fear and anxiety the optimal dose appears to be lower than what we were using he says you can back the dose down in pretty dramatically like fivefold decrease the rates of these fearful anxiety responses while only marginally decreasing the mystical type experiences. Nearly 75% of the study volunteers reported having positive, highly beneficial experiences on the two highest psilocybin doses used in the study. Almost half rated taking the drug in a supportive, therapeutic setting as the single most meaningful experience of their lives. This is still very much an investigational drug says Charles S. Grob, professor of psychiatry and biobehavioral sciences at the David Geffen School of Medicine at the University of California, Los Angeles. No one really knows, if they're taking mushrooms, what the content of the psilocybin is, Griffiths says. Within mushrooms, the content of psilocybin can vary tenfold. Each study participant was given four doses of psilocybin, with a month between each dose. Doses were based on body size and were 5 mg, 10 mg, 20 mg, or 30 mg for every 154 pounds of body weight. A placebo dose was also given. Participants were randomly assigned to receive either gradually increasing doses or gradually decreasing doses, to test a hypothesis that it might be more effective to start with a high initial dose. Sessions were conducted in a lab furnished to look like a living room. Study volunteers were encouraged to wear an eye mask to control visual stimulation and to lie down on a couch. They listened to music through headphones. They were encouraged to inwardly focus their attention. Two trained monitors stayed in the room throughout the test session, which lasted about eight hours. Check out the link below for a guide on long-term remission or to join in with the community.